Welcome once more to the hallowed halls of our grand library. Today, in a special festive edition, we dive into the history of the Feast of Winter Vale. During this enchanting season, the inhabitants of Azeroth eagerly anticipate the arrival of the festive celebrations known as Winter's Vale. Beyond all of the feasting, the joyful drinking, and the exchanging of gifts, what deeper significance does the Winter Vale hold across these diverse lands? Join us today as we uncover the true essence of Winter's Vale and its significance in the world of Azeroth. As the seasons change, different cultures along with the land itself experience a remarkable shift. Among these traditions, Dwarves and Tauren hold dear the captivating legend of Winter Vale, a time marked by snowfall, signalling a time of new beginnings. However, while these stories are shared, each race has its unique customs. The heart of the Winter Vale revolves around Greyfather Winter, a mystical figure said to blanket the realms in snowflakes as he moves across the world. With each step, Winter spreads like his cloak, covering the land in snow. This magical display, known as Great Father Winter's Veil, symbolises rejuvenation, a brief moment of renewal in the frosty cold. During this time, communities come together for winter feasts, sharing whatever they have. A single day of celebration heralds this transformation, welcoming the land's revival. Across Azeroth's snowy landscapes, this wintry wonder invites both contemplation and, of course, celebration. It marks nature's rest, nurturing new beginnings, and promising the return of life's energy as spring approaches. Obsessed with uncovering their lineage, the Dwarves observe this season in honour of the Great Father Winter, whom they perceive as an embodiment of one of Azeroth's ancients. The Titans. Asserting a connection, however distant to these individuals, they hail their snow-laden haven of Dunmorrow as the epitome of Great Father Winter's favour. In contrast, the Torrens' shamanistic perspective on the Winter Vale, combined with their recent foray into druidic practices, seamlessly aligns with the legend. Their emphasis lies predominantly on the revitalising facets of the lore behind the Winter Vale. Preferring to centre their beliefs on the seasons and the natural elements, they tend not to associate with the legends prevalent among other races that they consider less connected to nature's essence. For many Tauren, this period becomes an opportunity to express gratitude in their newfound dwelling of Mulgore. Naturally, as we humans do every year, commemorating the legend of Great Father Winter isn't the only aspect of the celebration. Every year, members of the Copper Pinch and the Jingle Pocket families, who run the Smoky Wood Pastures, select a representative from the Orc or Dwarf race to embody the character of Great Father Winter. This portrayal is often what most travellers across Azeroth are familiar with. Certainly, some of the merchandise peddled by these goblins is quite entertaining. Apart from offering the essential Wintervale items like wrapping paper, holiday spirits and of course candy, they also boast an assortment of winter attire. Along with this there are also festive gifts that can be either gifted or in some cases stolen. You might stumble upon eccentric goblin made toys and even pets for companionship. And we must say it's crucial to note that these pets are lifelong companions, not solely for the Winter Vale. Oh, and don't forget about the Abominable Grinch. He's notorious for waking up during this season and wreaking havoc wherever he roams. The Smoky Wood Pastures probably have some better tales for you. These age-old traditions have been observed throughout the diverse lands of Azeroth for countless centuries. However, not all Winter Vales on Azeroth unfold without a hitch. This upcoming tale, narrated by Wilmore Jingle Pocket, recounts the story of a struggling goblin named Kriz and his valiant effort to rescue the Winter Vale celebration. Kriz, a remarkably unlucky goblin, found himself ousted from Booty Bay by Baron Revelgaz due to a refusal to assist a client. His misfortune persisted as he struggled to secure employment in Gadgetzan, Mudsprocket, and even Everluck. However, an unexpected opportunity arose during his stay in Everluck, a chance to work as a merchant during Ironforge's Feast of Winter Vale. All went pretty smoothly until the final night, Winter Vale Eve, when the Great Father Winter drank way too much. Inebriated and unconscious, he needed someone to take his place. Given Chris's stature, he became the sole candidate capable of fitting into the dwarf's attire and had to listen to the wishes of all the children. During his stint as Great Father Winter, a young gnome named Fala Fizzlesprocket confided her desire for her father, Fritz Fizzlesprocket, to return home. 
Despite Chris's inability to make it happen, he had to agree with the young gnome. After the day concluded, Chris found himself approached by a mysterious dwarven stranger who mistook him as the real Greyfather Winter. The stranger insisted on meeting at Ironforge Airfield before midnight to acquire a unique toy for the upcoming gift giving ceremony. Meanwhile, Fowler disclosed that the stranger had conversed with Fritz on the evening of his disappearance. Chris pieced together the connection. Seeking aid from Metz and the reindeer, Chris rushed straight to the airfield. Upon arrival, Chris promptly confronted the dwarves, successfully rescuing Professor Fizzlesprocket and other captured gnomes. Fritz revealed the sinister plot. He had been coerced into constructing a colossal robot disguised in Great Father's garments. With the intention of stealing precious festive gifts from the Explorers League and the Royal Treasury, orchestrated by the Dark Irons. Thankfully, Chris thwarted their nefarious plan. As the pilots readied to transport the gnomes home, Chris, about to depart, shared with Metzen the reindeer the reason behind his dismissal from Booty Bay. To his surprise, Metzen showed fondness towards the goblin. Fowler, acknowledging that Chris wasn't the genuine great father due to his distinct goblin ears, expressed gratitude for saving her father, Fritz. Fritz, in gratitude, invited Chris to join their Wintervale Eve dinner. He accepted, and he even carved the roast boar. With stolen presents returned, children delighted with their gifts, and a giant robot adorning the tree, all was well again. As another chapter comes to an end within the hallowed halls of the Karazhan Library, I'm reminded of the countless stories, myths and legends we've explored together. Throughout these past months we ventured into Azeroth's rich history, unearthing tales of heroism, sacrifice and valour. In this season of joy and merriment, let us take a moment to appreciate the bonds forged, the knowledge gained and the journeys embarked upon. May the warmth of these tales linger in your hearts inspiring courage and kindling the spirit of wonder within you. As we bid farewell to this year, I extend my heartfelt wishes to each and every one of you. May your holidays be filled with laughter, love and the joy of discovery. Take this time to cherish your loved ones, celebrate the spirit of togetherness and create beautiful memories that shall endure through time. From the depths of the Karazhan Library, I wish you all a wondrous and magical holiday season. Until we reconvene for new adventures in the new year, remember, every story shared enriches our world and brings us closer together. Happy holidays, fellow lore enthusiasts, and of course, don't forget, safe travels.